Hi, my name is Brenda Odula and welcome to Fit Routine. Today, I've prepared for you a low impact, high interval training workout for beginners. Uh, we're going to start off with the warm up as usual, then we move out to the workout routine and then finish off with the cool down and a stretch. So today I have with me a 10 kg dumbbell. If you do not have a dumbbell at home, feel free to do, just use your free body weight. Have your towel ready with you, have your water and let's get started. So we're going to kick off with the warm-up as usual. So we start off with mummy kicks here. So you're just going to start off here. 20 of them. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Good job. I just want you to reach side to side, some dynamic stretching in between. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now you're going to go down as usual and you reach up. Let's go down, reach up, keep going. One, two, just warming up your body, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I want you to lunge the other side, lunge here, stretching your back leg here, switch to the other side here, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, this other side, one, once more, two, three, four, five, switch, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Now just touch opposite, reach up, touch your opposite toe, reach up, keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. Eight, nine, last one, ten. Good job. That's the first round. As usual, you have to repeat it the second time so to get your body fully warmed up. Let's go, mommy kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Moving on, reach to the side, reach, reach again. Two, now speed it up. Three, let's go. Four, five, keep going. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take it down. Reach up. Let's go. Down. Reach up. Keep going. Two. Reach up. Three. Reach up. Four. Reach up. Five. Keep going. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Next one, we're going to do the lunges again from side to side. Hold it one, two, three, four, five. Switch. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. I need you to do some hip rotations to open up your hips because we're going to do a bit of leg movement. So you need to also warm up your hips. Keep going. And your pelvic muscles also, that you don't get any injuries while you're working out. Keep moving. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now that's what was your warm up. I need you to sip some water and we'll get into the workout after this break.
welcome back. My name is Brenda Odula and this is Fit Routine. We've just done the warm-up. We're about to get into the workout. I prepared five workouts that we're going to do at high interval. What is high interval? That's high intensity interval training, meaning we'll be doing the workouts at high intensity and then you take a break in between the workouts. Then we, once we complete them, we're going to repeat them three times. So the first workout we're going to start off with, we're going to use this dumbbell. It's reverse lunges with a press. So that's the first workout we'll go and then we'll move as we proceed. So the first thing, just hold your dumbbell. You can use a 10 kg dumbbell. I'm currently using a 10 kg. You can even go lower as two kgs. As I repeated earlier, these dumbbells can be found at any of your fitness stores if you don't have one. But if you have even anything that you can um, use as a weight, that's uh, I, to, you can use a bottle, fill it with water. A one liter bottle, fill it with water, and you can use that as your weight. And if you don't even have any weights at home, you can just use your body weight. Just follow the movement. So we're going to start off with the reverse lunge with the press. So you just go down, step back, and press up. So you step back and press up. Keep going, back and up. From the side, it looks like this. So you take it back, one, and then push. Then step back and then push. So we're going to speed it up a, a little bit. So the first round, let's, we start it off, we're going for 15. So you step back, one, push, one. Again, here, two. Move, three, keep going, four, five, keep pushing, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, keep going, lunge back, two, three, Four, last one, down, and five. Good job. As I mentioned earlier, we are doing high interval training. High interval training means that your heart rate just spikes up and down, and means that your body burns maximum calories. So the next workout you're going to do is a side step press. Same movement, you're just going to move the dumbbell up as you step to the side. So this is how it goes. So you go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So we quickly move on. The break is a 30 second break that you take in between the, the workouts and then you move on to the next workout. So the next workout will be, it's like a swing. So imagine whether you're holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell. So you're gonna squat and then swing up, then squat and alternate with your arms. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me five more. One, two, three, four and five good job so the next workout we're going to do is a squat rotational punch so you go down and you and you punch to the side so you just go down hold the, the dumbbell to, to your shoulder level and punch up one let's go and you rotate two three four squat down five six Keep going. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Do the other side. Ten more hold here. Up on the chest. So go down. One, and then punch. Two, and punch. Three, reach. Keep going. Four, five, six. Keep going. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Next workout we're going to do are called knee drivers. So the knee drivers, you're going to raise your knee to, to your chest or towards the dumbbell. So you're going to bring it, you're going to go ten on one side and ten to the other side. So this is the movement, you're just going to lift your knee to 
to the dumbbell. So ready, turn to your side, catch your breath, and let's go. Knee drivers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switch to the other side, hold it here, and work. Let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Now we're going to move a bit to the floor where we're going to do something that will engage our core. So you, pl you place your, your hands on, on the ground and then you lift off and you're just going to step to the side and then here center, place your knees on, on the ground and give me a push up in the middle. Then you lift up and step. So here we're going to go 15 also. So ready, um, brace your core, hold it. Hold your um, hands, shoulder width apart and let's go. So down, you push, up, lift, step here. Take it down again. These are modified push-ups. If you can do full push-ups and challenge yourself, that'd be even better. But we'll do modified for now. Here we go. Keep going. That's four. Up, lift, keep going. Step, five, keep going, lift. Step, back, hold, six, seven, keep going, down, eight, push, nine, up, down, ten more, let's go, five more, down, one, down, here, two, down, three, down, four, up, down, last push up, five, nice one, catch your breath, that was the first round, that was the first high interval training, as you can see, I'm really sweating. It's intensive, it's high intensity training. That's what it's called. Meant to raise your heart rate up so that you can burn maximum calories. So we're going to move on. Same workout, same thing, but we're starting again from the top. So if you recall, we started, we're using the dumbbell. The first workout was a lunge, reverse lunge with the dumbbell, dumbbell press. So let's go, hold it here, and pass. Up, back, two, back, let's go. Three, slow and control, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more, one, two, three, four, and five, good job. 30 second breather, a little bit more. The next workout, remember, we were stepping side to side. Same press, but you step side to side. So hold it here. Notice how I'm taking short breaks. That's why it's called high interval. You're not supposed to be taking long breaks in between. So here, we're lifting the dumbbell up as we step to the side. So let's go, one, two, push yourself. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, keep your knees soft. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Recover, recover. The next one was a squat rotational punch. So you're going here, hold the, the dumbbell as comfortably as you can. Um, legs, shoulder width apart. So let's go down and punching to the side. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go the other way. Hold it here. Squat rotation. Down. Push. One. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Small break, then in between, we're going to do squat and kettlebell and dumbbell swing, not kettlebell. So you squat down in between, so down and you lift as you alternate your hands. Two, let's go. Three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10. Give me five more, one, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Then we're going back to the ground. The one on the floor I know is more challenging for most people. Do the best that you can. Even if you can't get to 15, you can start off with 10, then move up. So we are doing 15, so that's what we're gonna do in this section. So place your hands, shoulder width apart again. So doing modified push-ups, pull in your core, and let's go. Push up, down, and then you step up in. One, let's go. Here, step up. Two, keep boy, down. Step up, three, keep going, down. Step, that's four. Keep going, down, up. Keep pushing, up, that's six, down. Up, that's seven, down. That's eight, down. That's nine, down. Ten, five more, let's go. One, up, down. Two, up, down. Three, up. Keep going, four, up. Last one, five, up, step. Good job, nice one. Take a break, take a minute, recover. Remember today we're doing three sets of these five workouts. So we have one more round to go. And I'm sure by now you might be feeling the burn, feeling your body, you might be sweating, but that's a good thing, meaning you're burning lots and lots of calories. So we're going to go for one more round. So let me recover, let me catch my breath. As a trainer, as you can see, so, so I'm pushing myself. So I need you also to push yourself. So we're gonna start from the top, five more workouts, and then we'll still move on to the cool down and the stretch after. So hold your dumbbell. Now I need you to, this is the first, the last, rather, the last stretch. So I need you, Two, push yourself. Let's go. Lunge back. One, lunge. Two, keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Catch your breath. Next one, press up, step to the side. So here we go. So you're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Next, workout, squat, and the rotation. Catch your breath, lift up the the dumbbell, and let's go squat. Up, one, here, two, keep going, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, last one, 10. The other arm, I'm feeling the burn in my arms. Ready, let's go, let's go down, lift. Down, two, keep going, three, squat, four, squat, five, squat, six, 
foot. Six, keep moving. Seven, down, eight, down, nine, and 10. Good job. Take a breather. Sip some water if you want. Now, next workout that we're going to do was the dumbbell swing with a squat in between. Let's go down and you're lifting and alternating your arms and you're lifting. Slow and controlled. Keep going, keep going. Moving, that's four, up, down, five, here, six, here, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10. Give me five more, one, two, three, four, and five, up. Good job, catch your breath. We're moving to the last, last, last final workout of the day here. It's the push-up into a side step. So ready? Brace yourself, brace your core, and let's do it. Let's go. One, lift, step, keep going, down, step, that's two, let's go, step, that's three, keep going, down. Step, that's four, keep going, down. Step, that's five, push. Step, six, keep going. Seven, down. Eight, down. Nine, down. Ten, last five. Last four. Let's go. Down. Up. That's two. Last one. Down. And up. Good job. Woo! <laughs> that was your workout. We've burnt enough calories. I'm gonna take a slight break before we do the cool down and the stretch. See you later. back this is fit routine i'm your host brenda odula who just completed a high interval low impact trainer using a dumbbell now we're just about to do the cool down and the stretch so i want you to take a deep breath in get back oxygen into your lungs let's go in good job now take it to the side here stretch your side here Keep going. Good one. Now twist to the side here so that you can stretch your lower back as well as your abs. Turn to the other side. Good job. I want to place your calf, your, your foot on the floor, then you lean on your opposite leg. This is a calf stretch. You can bend your, your leg here. If you can reach to your, to your toes, you can hold it there to give you extra stretch. Your calf comes here. Keep going. 
Good job, switch to the other side, place your foot forward, then lean your weight on the opposite leg, and then you can reach to the toes. Nice one. Now I want you to lunge on the side, opening up your hips, and having, feeling the stretch of the side of your hips here, and your inner thighs. Good job, let's go. The other side. Nice one. Now, for the hamstrings, you just bend forward so that you feel it to the back of your legs here and then you hold it here a little bit. Awesome. Slowly lift yourself up and then take your arms back. You've been using the dumbbell, so it's important to also stretch your arms and stretch your upper body here. Take it across. As you can see, High, high interval continues burning calories even after you've work, worked out. See, I'm still sweating after that intense workout. So we take it back again. Keep on going. Then push this one across the shoulder here. Awesome. Now take a deep breath in again. In, in. Get oxygen back in. Let's go. One more time. In. Good job. Thank you guys. That was your workout for today. Get some water. Take some rest. It's pretty important also to rest after a workout. Take a rest, recover, and make sure, and I keep on insisting, that you're staying healthy and you're eating properly. And it's for me. Remember to stay fit and feel good. See you next time.